Hello and welcome everyone, this is Warcraft Replay. This is going to be the second game of a best of three series. Um, now on the map, Secret Valley. I I don't really know how to comment on game one. Maybe just didn't really work out for Watchy Fritch. But before I, get, before I get into that, let's just introduce the players in the bottom left. We have uh, DKH's Warchief of Rich, spawning in as the orange Night Elf player in the bottom left. And on the top right we have Yumiko spawning in as the blue human player once again on the top right. I would imagine this is going to be a fairly lengthy game, but hopefully not. Secret Valley, I guess, has like sometimes those big games, but who knows? There are there is like two extra gold mines for each player, but we generally don't see both gold mines being taken anyway, so. Let's just see how this will turn out. Yumiko might even be um, forced to go to tier 2 because it's not really that safe going for a base in Secret Valley, or at least that's what I've seen and opinionate on. Uh, Archmage for Yumiko. Are we going to go for a standard start for Watchy Fritch? We are. So Demon Hunter versus Archmage. Going to be rather interested on what Yumiko gonna, is going to go for. Um, keep tick or just stick with town hall and eventually lead on to an expand I'm not sure if an expand is necessarily the best option but we shall see Wachi Fritch is spreading out th those units he did uproot um, his Ancient of War also going to bring in a wisp as well mainly because this is a rather difficult camp and of course the tree reg regeneration is not enough there we go demon hunter popping out uh... will hopefully be able to pick up a good item from this one now it's going to be yumiko also starting out with the null overseer camp he is going to take down those assassins first to try and prevent as much poison damage as possible Demon Hunter um, is going to pick up some sort of item. Circlet compared to Yumiko's ring, so immediately we see Demon Hunter got a better item, but who knows, maybe that plus two armor could save the Archmage's life when the Demon Hunter get, starts getting scary. However, that's only when the Demon Hunter actually gets scary. Hunter's all being placed down. No tier two from Watchy Fritch, so this is suggesting a uh, huntress focused. Not sure if we're gonna go mass huntresses, but Hunter's all is is completed, so that's a thing. Um, the gold mine creep camp is um, being cleared out as well. We have Yumiko. He's actually gonna go for an expand. Um, I'm not sure about this, seeing as we might have Huntresses early out for um, War Chief Rich. He is going to go Ultra Vision as well. However, no Huntresses being produced at all, so uh, maybe this might be a neutral choice. It's not necessarily bad since there's no, not going to be Huntresses anymore, or at least for a while, but. Ooh, Watchy Fritch actually gonna go for an expand himself. Rather rather risky, I think. He doesn't know if he's if his opponents go and expand or if he's gonna go um tech. So actually in fact both players don't know. No huntresses yet. There we go, first huntress out. But one Huntress is not going to stop Yumiko from placing down a Town Hall. Um, Demon Hunter, TP Staff, plus 3 Agility, Boots, and the Circlet of Nobility compared to the Archmage's Boots and Dust. He sold his other items, so apparently he was not satisfied. Mana Burn coming on the Archmage, so good bit of damage, but yeah. Yumiko once again, um, 
laying down the foundations before placing down the town hall. Yumiko has actually spotted this tree of life, so Washi Fridge will most likely be forced to stay on the defensive for a while. Level 3 um, will be gained for the Demon Hunter, so level 3, which means probably level 2 mana burn. Now the Archimage is moving out as well. He can summon one elemental, so I think that would be enough damage to just force a cancel on this tree of life. But it looks like Watchy Fritch is also going to be on the offensive. He is going to have to face two guard towers though, so um, probably the biggest problem right now, seeing as no I think the tree of life was even uh, wasn't even cancelled. Let's just see. No, Watchy Fritch looks like he did have the resources, so that means he did cancel it, but his only Ancient of War could potentially be taken out. Needs to be careful there. It could be like game one, where Yumiko's barracks was taken out rather early on, but despite it not actually leading to anything. Um, Yumiko actually going to go, go wisp hunting and at least taking out two uh, wisps so far. Huntresses are out, but that's pretty much going to be it for a while. Tier 2 is now on the way. TV staff from the Demon Hunter. He will try and defend this, I think. We'll use the mana from those Moonwells and we'll go for a mana burn on the Archmage. Needs to be careful. Uh oh. Yeah. Like, I mean, the Demon Hunter got himself surrounded. Even the Elemental just quickly sur finishing off the surround on the Demon Hunter will be forced to use that TB scroll. I'm not sure why he's not TB scrolling like immediately. Because that will just increase the burden on that Moonwell. There we go. Moonwell will be used. Yeah. Not liking this from Wall Chief Ridge, actually. Um, going for an expand we, when he didn't scout. Um, despite that, I think like the safest safest time to expand would be if your human opponent uh, I don't know, maybe like expand is probably the safest if they go and expand but the problem is that Washi Fritz just did not I don't know I'm just, I'm just so tired I just can't analyze this so let's just watch the game Tree of Ages nearly completed Again, no Ancient of War. Oh, actually, there we go. Ancient of War has been spared, I think. That's the right word. But not the Wisps. Wisps are forced to just get out of those trees. Try and just heal up. Use those Moonwells. Huntresses are going to try and push these footmen away. And the Archmage is going to utilize this healing potion. Not healing potion. Healing fountain. Meanwhile, again, another attempt on Tree of Life. I'm not sure if this is the right way for Wachi Frisch to go, but I think he's just so far behind that um, he just needs to make this work. Double Emission of Lords has been placed down on the safe side, so um, Yumiko cannot deny that. But Tree of Life has been cancelled once again, Archmage being the main reasoning behind that. Panda has been hired up for um, War Chief Rich. Apparently a an archer has been taken out by the Archmage as well, so that's a good bit of experience. Nice uh, two kills right there for the Panda. We'll be able to get closer to level two. And there we go with another uh, mana burn right there on the Archmage, so we'll not be able to summon elementals anytime soon. I guess the Brilliant Aura is kind of a double-edged sword when it comes to facing off against the Demon Hunter, because the more mana you have, sure you can use it, but it's also the more mana that can be burnt. Um, Panda just trying to hold back against these footmen. Obviously Panda is a really good um, hero against mass footmen, but once it comes um, the second stage of the game where arcane sanctums and workshop units come in. I think the panda will find himself um, less contribu contributing, I guess. I'm not sure how to describe it in terms of adjective, but 
TP scroll actually being used by the Archmage. He was bring, brought down rather low. Um, even a footman has been taken out before being TP'd out of there. So Demon Hunter is just one kill away from uh, level three, not level three, level four. Another mana burn on the Naga Sea Witch. So it's going to be a, a Naga Sea Witch second, which indicates that Yumiko really wants to be on the on the offensive later on. Well, I mean, he is on the offensive right now, but just even more. That's probably a good amount of damage on the Naga Sea Witch, though. Like, constant mana burns until she's reduced to about 50. Um, doing about over 300 damage on her as well, so... Uh, that's a good sign, for the Demon Hunter at least. Is gonna come in and go after a mana burn on someone, I would imagine, but... Just did not happen. We're gonna have Footman just moving out. Ivory Tower is being placed down as well. Arcane Sanctum, double Arcane Sanctum, and the Workshop has been placed down. Workshop actually being in the middle of construction. Rifleman has been picked up for Yumiko. Rather interesting unit pickup right there. I mean, not that many Hunters, but since the transition into Dryads, I guess. That would make sense, but Rafferman will become obsolete a little later on, seeing as bears would eventually replace them, or at least I would think so. Yep, bears are being queued up. It is now night time. Watchy Fridge has reached level 2 on that panda, so um, hopefully he can, he can only go up from there. Meeting the army of Yumiko face on, so all he did was mana burn and get out of there. Uh, we do have a scout machine out for Yumiko, so we'll be able to spot those invisible units during the night time. Priests are being queued up, and even more riflemen are being trained as well, so rather interesting. And Tree of Life has been completed for Warchi Fritch. Not sure how many attempts he had on it, but he finally got it. Demon Hunter is trying to make some something work, but well, it's obviously not. It is forced to TP staff um, out of that fight. We'll be using the remainder of the Moonwells, I would imagine. Since tier three is done, I think Wellsprings is going to be a valuable research for those Moonwells. Um, but s since we don't have that, it's it's pointless to talk about it. Scout towers are going to turn into arcane and guard towers. The Ancient of War is under siege, but here comes the Watch of Riches army. Um, he does have a bear out, so Rejuvenate is going to be casted on these units. Militia, footmen just being pulled from everywhere. Drunken Fire combo on the majority of those units. Pretty nicely done. Um, the elemental needs to be taken down and give level 3 to the panda, but just the priests are healing him back up. Another, another fire um, being casted from the panda, but that's just not enough, especially without the drug and haze combination right there. Um, the panda it did reach level 3, however, spellbreakers are stealing the roar from those druids of claws as well as the potential rejuvenates from the demon hunters, so. Again, needs to be careful on the usage of spells. This bear looks very, very low, but I think he will be able to escape. Actually, sticking with the fight, Archmage has been surrounded and will be taken out at level five, three, level three. Now, you can see which I would imagine is the next target, level one. Obviously, very delicious looking. Um, We'll reach level 2, so Fork Lightning is a thing. I don't think Mana Shield is is a thing, so we'll never be taken at all. It's taking a lot of damage. We'll be taken out, so that is two blue heroes being taken out at the cost of several units for the orange army, so... Yeah. Panda even being uh, focused down. Oopsies. Uh, let's get out of that. Okay, sorry about that, but... Wow, surrounded on the panda, um, maybe Yumiko might be able to get the demon under as well, but apparently it's not going to be happening. A lot of red hit point units. Huntress, not, not Huntress, Bear being taken down, but there we go with the Huntress, finally. 
um, making me look foolish right there, but the Tree of Life will be destroyed. Mortar Team's able to make quick work of that, and the Wisps are not looking too good right now. We'll be forced to detonate. However, the Survival Wisps will be able to escape. Oh, rather close right there, but we'll be able to survive. So we are going to have the Panda being revived through the Altar. We're going to have the Naga Sea Witch being revived through the Altar altar as well. Tavern Revival on the Archmage, however, so he really wants the Archmage to just be in the game. Okay, since we have bears, Master Train bears nonetheless as well, um, the Overlord camp is fairly easy to take down. We have this Wisp over here placing down a Tree of Life, so this is probably the, mo the more safer base compared to the the orange creep camps ones, but um, because it's safer, it is generally harder to take because of that overlord. And the item is going to be the uh, Warsong Baldrum, so that command aura is available. A uh, demon hunter just really, really angry against that hunter, so I would imagine. Oh wow, bloodlust on that peasant, as well as inner fire. Um, okay, so he is the boss of them all. Um, Tome of Experience has been picked up for the Naga Sea Witch as well, so a little bit of an extra boost in terms of just leveling up. Archmage, wow, that is a huge hit to Yumiko right now. Brilliant Sora is already on that Archmage, so the Kajira's Pipe of Insight is not necessarily that important. However, it is easy gold, so he will sell that. For a TB scroll, of course. Demon Hunter has now reached that point. He is now level 3. We've seen um, the Demon Hunter do very well, especially with the Nicker game um, versus... I forgot who it was. Um, Calypso, I think. Yeah. Um, in game 1, just Demon Hunter at level 5 can be such a pest, especially against someone like the Archmage who stacks up on a lot of mana. So let's see how this will work out. Fairy Fire from those Mana Flares doing a ton of a little bit of damage, not necessarily a ton. Nice Breath of Fire right there. It is going to do more damage than those Mana Flares, obviously. So, yep, hopefully going to benefit from this 10% damage increase, but the Bears do just do not want that. They are going to be forced to retreat. Panda, nice Breath of Fire, taking out a couple of Peasants as well. However, um, he doesn't have that many un uh, items. He does have the greater mana potion though, so that's at least a plus right there. Watchy Fritch will lose himself that bear. I would imagine him just going for the preservation, but he he just did not do it. Probably it was on cooldown, but yeah, still just rather unfortunate. Yumiko gonna siege this base once again, just denying Watchy Fritch of any sort of economy right now. Um, level 3 mana burn is going to completely suck Yumiko's Naga try the f uh, the flying machines as well. Just being just masked up, just to take care of those um, fairy dragons. Right now we're at 53 versus 78. Yumiko clearly showing the lead. I think Watchy Fritch should have not focused on expand this game, and because of that, um, Yumiko is going to just steamroll his base. Okay, here we go with this engage right now, Yumiko um, against War Chief Rich. The Panda did consume that greater mana potion, so let's see how well he will use it. He will be able to take down a couple of units with that Dragon Fire combo. But the slows you can see right there along with the cold arrows just completely um, taking those bears out of the fight. Like, that is rather depressing. Just to see those bears play so slowly. Even the uh, Demon Hunter is slowed as well. When will he use that anti-magic potion? I don't know. Now he will use it, so now hopefully he will start getting a little snowbally, but I don't know. It's gonna take a while. These flying machines really annoying, just blocking my view right now. So I don't know what's happening. We do have another fairy dragon being taken down. A bear is gonna be taken down. Second one will follow very soon. Oh. Well, it's not like Yumiko actually cares about it, he just wants to kill the remainder of these units. Like, one bear being able to escape is not that important. GG from Watch Chief Rich. Yumiko is going to pick up the semi-final series and is going to go ahead to the finals versus... 
either Hork, uh, either Hork, or Nicker. So yep, I'll be casting that series hopefully soon. So take, um, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys next time. Goddamn, I'm tired. <laughs>